Hey everybody, Jody Marketplace Boutique, and today I'm gonna to show you milk glass. I love milk glass. I love finding milk glass. I love selling milk glass. I'm gonna show you behind me woo, some fabulous milk glass pieces I just got at auction. You can find these two really easily near you. And I not only sell these, but I also collect them too, especially the cute little chickens. <laughs> So here are some current finds that I just bought at auction, and here's like a milk glass vase. It has the great pattern. So these I would say will probably go for around 80. You can always find them cheaper, however I do look up the current market value. And here is a goblet. I would say this would go a little bit less, maybe $39. These have been selling for around probably $75, $80. This is a little bit of a smaller one. And that's a nice milk glass vintage vase. And here's a fluted edge. Now these are more unique. You don't find the fluted edge around too much. It's got the nice hob nails on the side. Pedestal vase. Now this is something I recently sold. Not this specific one. Um, so I just sold one of these for around, I don't know, $85. This is a toothpick holder. You could also list it with like a little trinket jar. But yeah, super cute. It has little feet. Here's another thing that I bought in this auction lot. And these are little trays. People used to have like bridal showers and baby showers. And they would use these trays. Um, when I was littler, my family used to do this, like my grandparents and stuff. They still use these. Gosh, I would love to be able to use these today. I, I would totally keep these as mine if I still had parties at my house, but I'm not having too many parties these days. This is a nice um, vintage plate tray with these great designs again, and they match with that vase, which is nice. I would say these are about 50s. Here's a really pretty pedestal. It's like a pretty compote with a pedestal. This is great for like fruits and it's got a really pretty design. Again, this is that grape design. I would say these are all about you know, the 1950s area. Most of the things at that auction were from the 50s, so that'll give you a good idea. Now let's pull some comps, what stuff like this can go for. Um, I would definitely be on the lookout anytime you see these to pick them up and resell them. They sell really great. This is one of those great things that you can find at estate sales, garage sales, local auction and resell for a profit. Now let's look at those comps. Okay, everybody, so here I have some milk glass that I have in my store, and I bought that milk glass slot from an auction, and I paid $5, and then there was probably like a $25 or so buyer's fee for that. So I get things really cheap, I try to, so I paid probably what, you know, under a dollar or about a dollar a piece. And that's how I like to do it. <laughs> so, okay, so I'll show you how I kind of figure things. Some things that sold that are milk glass, and it's amazing. I would, I always pick it up if I see it cheap. So I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. It's one of those things I really like. As you can see here, some of the milk glass items go for a lot of money. I'm just scrolling through. And here I am using Terra Peak, as you can see here. And if you just search Terra Peak on Google for eBay, you could find this. And this is free if you have an eBay store, which is really nice. There are a lot of things that are milk glass that are worth quite a bit of money, especially when they're vintage. With vintage items, it's not like you can go to Walmart or Kmart or whatever store and buy those things today. And they have some history to them. So here I'm going to show you some things that have sold. No, I think this sold for around $100. And this is a pedestal compote dish. As you can see here. This one's a light blue. Now they do come in different colors. I love the colored ones. I can't say that I really have many, if any. I'm not sure if I really do. Oh, I do have chickens. Okay. So I do have milk glass chickens that are colored, and I love those. They're hard to find. Usually when I find them, they're quite a bit of money. Like there was a dish once that I really wanted so bad, but it was $40, and I thought, oh, 
I'm just so used to getting everything so cheap. I didn't want to spend the $40. What was I thinking? <laughs> oh my goodness. So here's a Fenton, like a bowl vase, and it's got the scalloped edge. It's got the hobnails. I am no Fenton expert. When I do see this, I kind of wonder. You may want to research that more. Sometimes Fenton has a sticker, and you can tell what it is by the sticker. A lot of times they fall off. Sometimes they say Fenton on the bottom or an F and sometimes a star. This is a beautiful, I mean, even, even if I were to buy this myself, I'd be really happy with that. Even because it's just absolutely beautiful and it wouldn't really matter about the name brand. But some people like that name brand and people do search by the word Fenton. And this one is also a colored piece. So... I'm wondering if the one I had that's white is Fenton, however, I I just don't know. I looked on the bottom. I did see a ring, so it could be, because it's not like a broke off piece of glass at the end. It's more of a ring break. For now, I think I might keep that little piece just on my coffee table. Here is an amazing piece. I had to show you this. This sold for $95. I think this is so amazing. And this is a Fenton piece. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. I've seen a couple of these hit eBay. It's just amazing. I mean, can you imagine like putting something here and then having like some flowers come out of this? So cool. I've never actually seen one in the wild. Really neat, like minty green. I call it minty green. So this one, an offer was taken and it was listed for $350 and that's all. Okay, here's another one, $280. And this is a nice Fenton milk glass dessert plate pedestal stand. Okay, let's look at the bottom. And this one doesn't seem to be marked either. I have to wonder if some people are putting Fenton, if it's just got that scalloped edge. I would be really careful when doing that because if you send something expensive, say they come back and say, well, it's not marked, you know. It's not Fenton. This one sold for $280. That's amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. I love these colors. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite color. I have a lot of that in my house. I'm too cheap to pay $280. No, I'm really bad. I'm really bad about that. Okay, so here we have another form of milk glass that you can call milk glass because it's got that kind of the milky color and these are Pyrex dishes. And these sell very well. Um, this color sells well too. So three seventy-five. I do have a set of my mother's, but they're brown and they're kind of ugly. I might have to sell those. <laughs> three seventy-five. I'd be so happy to take that. And I have not used them, so I should probably just put them up for sale. It's like one of the only things that I took out of my mother's house. Okay, so now we have. Here's like a mini globe. This was listed at $385. They took a best offer. It's a little gas pump top. Isn't this cool? And that's just another form of milk glass because it's got that kind of iridescent look, you know, like milk. It's just amazing. You know, usually it's kind of almost not quite see-through. But... And here's another. Now this is the federal milk glass and this is what this looks like. Very pretty. It's hard to find these at good prices anymore. This was listed at $3.99 and they took an offer. So amazing. Love it. You know, that's what makes eBay really fun because you can find these items that you just can't find in your own hometown or you say you want something but you don't want to look like high and low for years and years to find that special piece. It would probably take you forever. So you can go on eBay, find what you want. You might have to pay up a little bit. But hey, that's what makes eBay great. So this is McKee Depression Milk Glass. And this is a canister set. Now, I have not seen these either before. So how neat is that? Oh, I would love that for tea. That would be awesome. That would be really cool. These are so cute. Wouldn't these look cute sitting on a countertop? It's just so elegant and nice and, and it actually pertains to that era and it's not like a reproduction so it makes it really nice. That was $4.75 and they took an offer. Five Fire King Jadeite. This has kind of got like a milk glass kind of texture look to it. As you can see up here, these have that milky look to them too. I have a couple of these and I absolutely love them. 
Ooh, I kind of want to watch this. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's pause. Okay, shh. Okay, I'm going to watch that one. I really like that chicken. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, Corning Glass works. This is a Pyrex. Is this Pyrex or Corning? This says Corning. Hmm, they put Pyrex on it. Hey, it's still sold, whatever. <laughs> $4.89 is sold for. And this is just another example of like kitchenware. It's got that milky look to it. I love these colors. And you know, if you were from this town, I mean, how awesome would that be to find something like that? Okay, here's another Pyrex dish, and this sold for $500. It's got a lid, and it's even got a stand. I actually have never seen the stands. Yes, I have, actually, now that I've seen that. I must have had one of those before, because I remember the handles. So, as you can see, this is like a really... I mean, how cool would that to have that in your kitchen or just to serve like green beans in? Okay, so this is like a milk glass, but it's not actual milky. <laughs> so this is an actual like milk glass jug. This is just another form of milk glass. And these do sell well too. And this is $900. My husband and I, we um, inherited a bunch of these, not not the same as this, but from our, you know, hometowns and stuff, um, where our family was from. And yeah, I would never sell them though. This is not actually like a milky texture, but if you say milk glass, this would definitely be one of those things that you could find out there. And these are actually pretty easy to find. I do see these a lot in like any kind of vintage shop or like an antique shop and they're usually pretty cheap okay so here is a light these are beautiful i actually looked for one of these for my laundry room and it was so hard to find one yeah i actually i did not want to pay that much but this is a milk glass art deco skyscraper cake tier globe ceiling light sold for a thousand dollars for two isn't that amazing beautiful in our old church, we actually had these lights. So it could have come out of a church. If it had it in one church, it probably had it in many churches. So if you were to list something like that, I would definitely put, you know, church. Just those keywords. Um, that's beautiful. I love that. Okay, so here is Facebook. And I just wanted to show you these milk glass um, groups that you can be in if you just want to see how much things are worth, if you have things to sell. There are several milk glass and different glass ID groups on Facebook. I've joined many, many of these. I absolutely love them. And people are always willing to help ID something if you're having trouble figuring out what in the world you have. Because <laughs> sometimes as resellers, we come across the strangest things. You should be able to find what you're looking for. So this is like a really good resource that I do use. Yes, I use Facebook for a resource. It, it's great. It really is. I hope you have learned something new and I hope you go out and find some goodies. If you're a reseller, I wish you the very, very best reselling and I hope you make great money finding these awesome items. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Today I have milk glass.